with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist. Just like his father. I wish I knew which one used to be a speakeasy. those my newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized not about to let some street punk get jam all over them excuse me miss strickland wow a speakeasy that must have been wild is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Don't let me keep you from your business. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date! Don't look at me! I'm far too old for you. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything! Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, 
was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right! Oh, Steinbeck! Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Time circuits? On. Flux capacitor? Uh, Fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc.
Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Young man! Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see! Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr... May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. 